This next one's called the Modulus Fan Fan. This is for the guy that owns a Modulus and wants to show that he owns it by putting all his attachments on the second Modulus Blaster. Hey, what's up guys? Turn up for Ethan here. And today, I want to give you guys a full unboxing and review of the Nerf Recon Mark II. So, the Recon Mark II is another one of the Modulus Blasters in the Modulus line. It looks really awesome. This is going to be the successor to the to either the Recon, the, the N-Strike Recon, or the Nerf Retaliator. And it looks really cool. It's coming with this type of barrel that looks really cool and it's going to come with this stock which actually looks kind of uncomfortable it's also going to come with a six start clip and that's mostly all so on the back we have a picture of the original modulus which i don't yet have a review on but i will get to it and it says and you have the range claims right here and it looks like it's claiming um, ranges of up to 90 feet, 69% is going 85 to 98 feet, and 31% is going less than 85 feet. So, yeah. And then, like I said, the big picture of the modulus, which has a thousand plus combinations. This one doesn't look like it's going to have as many tactical rail accessories, especially because it has this top rail, which you don't want to put anything on because you're going to be priming on that. So yeah, and I think that's all. It's gonna hold the six start clips, and it gonna it's gonna come with six modulus starts. It says it's four blasters in one, which is kind of funny marketing. And let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So I've got my tactical scissors with me over here, and we can go ahead and unbox this. So let's go ahead and um, maybe we should open the packaging first. So. If there's anything I learned from that experience, it's that Nerf is getting a lot better at packaging their blasters. So let's go ahead and go over the features. First we have the stock, which is very cool. It's about the same size as a uh, Retaliator stock, so kind of complaints that it's not too large, but still okay stock. It's actually pretty comfy to shoulder it. I kind of like it. I thought it was going to be pretty uncomfortable. I thought it it looked kind of uncomfortable, but I don't know. And to release the stock, you just go ahead and press down this button and pull it off. And we have no stock. Woohoo! And then put it on. So expensive. And then over here, we have a holster point. We have the trigger. And then we have the magazine release. And to release the six start magazine that in, that's included, you go ahead and turn this back. And then it will drop out. Very cool. Just pull this back. My hand's on the other side, but. You just want to pull it back and then to put it in you have to actually climb back again and then pump it in and then on the side we have a tactical rail no tactical rail on the other side just one on this side so more catering to the righties i guess or to the lefties i'm not exactly sure and then we have another tactical rail on the top and that is the only tactical rails included with the blaster and on the barrel it just comes off like that like, unlike all other barrels, they usually have like a little um, dot right here or a little button and it usually attaches to help um, hold it just a little bit more, but this one doesn't have it. I think they're starting to improve, I guess, or just to save time or something. I don't know, but the barrel is actually pretty cool. It's one of the smallest barrels I've seen besides the um, suppressor that comes in the modulus um, stealth ops kit I believe and the regular modulus yeah this barrel is really small I really like it actually it has like a cool sight right here that's pretty big and the barrel looks like really awesome I just can't get over how cool this barrel looks but you just go ahead and put it on like that and it should go ahead and fit in so like I explained included in the blaster is one six start clip so you go ahead and if you open the door,
okay? And to load the darts into the clip, you want to have the arrow facing this way, and you want to go ahead and have the tip of the dart facing the way the arrow is going, and then you can keep loading it in. Like so. And then you can go ahead and pump it right in your dart blaster. I don't know why I said that, but and to shoot you want to go ahead and push forward and fire and then to shoot again again prime backwards and then forwards and then you can fire so i actually really like the ergonomics of this gun it's really nice to it's really comfortable and i really just like the feel of it and i really like the paint job too the paint job is actually really cool i'm glad they're ditching those like lime green colors on the modulus it looks a lot cooler with like the kind of light orange on it and then we have like the darker oranges for the safety warnings or stuff and I I don't know I really like this gun and it has this kind of like funky handguard right here I don't know what that's for but still pretty cool and it's a pretty big grip I guess you could say my fingers aren't too big they're still pretty big but they're not like adult sized fingers so I definitely like the grip one thing I want to add about the modulus recon mark 2 is that it's not going to be able to accept any 18 dart stick mags or any 25 dart drums because as you can see if I try an 18 dart stick mag it's going to go ahead and jam right in there but then it's just going to try to fall out it won't even stay in there it's pretty bad but if you keep it there and then you prime forward it won't fall out as you can see but then when you're like loading your blaster and you're like hey, hey let's prime back then, oh no it falls out um almost the same thing with the drums if you stick them in, they actually kind of get like jammed in there. As you can see, this little part of the drum is actually pressing against the handle of the Mark II, and it won't prime either. So, um, a pretty weird flaw that there is with the recon. They are um, saying that they'll replace any recon that are having this problem. And when I say they, I'm meaning Hasbro the people who um, own Nerf, which is pretty cool. I'll probably ask them about it, and yeah. Let's go ahead and test this blaster outside. So now that you've seen the firing and all the details, you can probably decide what's your opinion on the Recon Mark II. My, I already have my opinion. I think my opinion is that it's an okay blaster. I wouldn't exactly recommend it just because I'm not counting the new Recons that are accepting the 18 dart stick mags. I'm counting these Recons right now because the Recon will not accept 18 dart stick mags or drums, which is pretty insufficient because all that's left is 6 darts, 10 darts, and 12 dart mags, which is not very good um, comparing all the other ammo types that are a lot greater than that. So I don't think it's exactly worth it yet unless they have the 2.1s out already. I haven't seen them yet, or I don't own one yet, but I definitely think this is still a really cool blaster, but I don't exactly recommend it just because of that feature. I would definitely recommend it if it had the magazine compatibility, but if it since it doesn't, I'm not sure if I really exactly want this, but I think I'm going to contact Hasbro and ask them about it. But anyway, I really like the blaster and the comfort and the feel of it, and I really think it's really cool. And before I end the video, I want to go ahead and give some combos. This one's called the Living in the Old Days Blaster. This one's going to be all of the Retaliator attachments on the Recon Mark II. All these attachments are before the Tacticalness came. So we have all these attachments from the Retaliator, even including the 12 Dark Clip, because it fits the Recon. Very cool combo. Definitely like it. It's actually pretty comfortable. Pretty cool. This next one's called the Modulus Fan Fan. 
This is for the guy that owns a modulus and wants to show that he owns it by putting all his attachments on the second modulus blaster. That's my review of the Modulus Recon Mark II. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, type a comment down below in the comment section, and pound that subscribe button because you know you want more videos like this. And remember to turn up that volume. I'll see you guys later.